Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 and 6, and I will read it. It says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. There's one God. We know that there is one God. And beside God, there is no other God. And there being also one God, there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And why is there a need for a mediator? Why is there a need for somebody to step in uh, on our behalf? It is because God is holy. God is righteous. God is just. God is perfect. And only holy can come into the presence of holy. Only that which is perfect can come in that, into the presence of he who is perfect. See, we are imperfect because of our sin. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. And therefore, we cannot on our own come into the presence of a holy God. If imperfection was to come into the presence of that which is perfect, then it would make perfect, imperfect, and therefore we have no way that we can come into the presence of a holy God without a mediator. And Jesus Christ is that mediator. He is the perfect one that is able to come into the presence of Almighty God. And how did he do that? Listen, he became ransom for you and for I. Look at verse six again. He said, who gave himself a ransom for all. What is a ransom? I mean, come on, y'all have watched these crime shows where somebody, maybe they went into a museum museum and stole an artifact, and then they held that artifact out for a ransom for payment. They would say, you give me a million dollars and I will return the artifact to you. And so they meet up at some place and they exchange what has been stolen for the money. So a, a ransom is a substitute. Uh, it's a substitute for something else. And so Jesus uh, is the substitute for you and I. He he took our place. Uh, we deserve judgment. We deserve death, hell, and the grave. And yet he took our place. He took our sin. He who knew no sin, he's perfect, knew no sin, took our sins upon himself and paid the debt payment for our sin once and for all on the cross. And because he has done that and we believe in him and we accept him as our personal Lord and Savior, then God, he counts that, he credits what Jesus has done on our behalf as if we had done it ourselves and therefore we become right and made righteous in the eyes of God. Not that we did anything, not that, not that we deserve it by no means, but it is only by the grace and the mercy of God that he accepts us as being righteous and allows us to come into his presence because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done himself. And therefore, glory be to God, that we do have this mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all, not for just, not for just the, the, the Jews at the foot of the cross, but for all, for the whole world, that if we put our trust and our confidence in him, that he is our Lord and our Savior, to be testified in due time. Now is the time. Now is the day of salvation. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon these verse, verses today, that they will be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you have a safe day as we begin this week. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, as we consider today's verse.